Welcome to D20 Deathmatch! That's right! Welcome, Acolytes, to the arena! We are here, ready for a bloodbath. That's right, we've been focusing on Team A, soon to be determined what their actual team name is, and it's gonna be amazing! We've been building them up, following their stories, and now is their chance to see who is going to take the lead. As we zoom in down into the Dread Fortress, we find ourselves in a very busy room with the Grandmaster, Thea, and even the Arbiter running around trying to get together the last minute details. Okay, so we have the Acolyte invites, we make sure that the concession stands are full again. We've got blue slushies, we've got hot dogs, we've got plizzies. What else are we missing? Uh, I, I, I think that's it. I, I don't, we don't have time. We don't have time. We're already late. Why are, why, why right. are we done? Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Do I have it all? Do we look good? Do I look okay? You, you look fine. Where's Thea? Right. Thea! Thea! Yeah! What, why, is, why are we having to worry about this? Why haven't you finished this stuff? Oh, because I was eating. And eating? you can see that she actually has a giant bowl of goldfish next to her that she's just been lugging around. That is my dinner, pre-show dinner. Listen, uh, th this is this is this is not working. Uh, the Grandmaster has instructed me to instruct you to make sure that all this shit gets done. So it needs oh. to get done. Well, I basically did all that I was supposed to. I cleaned the arena, and now it looks like it's really primed for some blood and I already sent the invitations to our champions and I told them to remember this is a death match they have to murder each other but it'll be okay because all of them will be revived they just have to push themselves to the final limit put on a great show and pull out all the stops wait is that the phrase pull them out or stop them if you if you sent yeah. the invites yes then why are they still here in my hand And her jaw just kind of drops open and her eyes really freeze for a second. Don't tease her right now. Just send them out immediately because we need to get our champions in here now because we have a death match and we have acolytes that are waiting. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, I'll do all of the work as always as the Arbiter cracks his knuckles and slams his hands together and poof, a portal rips open into the dread fortress as our champions step through once again champions welcome back how are you how are you feeling are you guys ready to die or i'm still stuck as this worm i can't get my leg out from behind my neck oh she's she's still the she's still the the, the what, what was the name of that guy be. Tim Timothy, that's right, that's right. The uh, mayor. The mayor. Well, yeah. Can I get a specialist in here? Maybe a chiropractor? Uh, I think my pinky toe is poking my oh. liver. Should we bring in Dr. Octor? I I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I can't. I don't know anything about worm bodies, do you? No, uh, not not enough. But I'm also worried about time. Maybe not, Doctor Arthur, just because they take too long. Can't you do some like little magically thingies with your fingers and make it happen? I I can try. I can try. As yeah, the, like I'm stuck in a Chinese finger trap, except it's my whole body. Good. The the arbiter uh, raises you up with a hand, and rather than just fix your body, he his hands separate and. Every molecule molecule of your body is just ripped in in into pieces, into just broken down into every every individual atom. You're just just completely obliterated. Super painful. Very very not fun. And then put back together. Uh, that's a, that's about as good as I can do. You good? Do you cover uh? therapy because i think i'm going to need it after that no we only care about the hard sciences here what oh. no that's not true we have no we have a plethora of resources therapy hold on let me go a... find it for a second we we all we all know that therapy doesn't work it's just it's something that they tell you that you know just it's like it doesn't actually work you know that i know that 
Uh, I mean, could I see them anyway so I could steal their identity? Yes, don't listen to the Arbiter. (laughs) Clearly, he is somebody who is deeply disturbed, has no idea how to handle things. And first of all, he's not getting any of you in the right mindset. Arbiter! And she goes over and just slaps him across the face. What the hell is wrong with you? This is a death match. You need to be pumping them up. You need to get them ready. And we need to be able to provide any resource that they need to make sure that they can provide the best optimal experience. I got her ready. (gasps) Why are you... what? What, what's hey? What is this really about? Because you you seem on edge tonight. What, what's what's yes. actually the problem? This, this is I've, that badge is returning. I want it to be good, and here you are, just dawdling your fingers, and also not even taking care of our champions the right way. You know better I'm than that. I have right? I have torn champions limb from limb now. hundreds of times. What's what's, That's what's not this your really job. about? What's this really your job about? Is, what do you mean? What is this really about? Your job is not to tear them apart. It's to build them up. We are a supportive environment. I'm going to need compensation for being completely ripped to shreds and then put back together. That was emotionally traumatizing. Yes. Yes. Where's Please that give me your come credit from? card and, and your social security number. No, we're not It'll doing be, it. We're not doing fine. this. You it's know what? fine. Atlas, are you good to go? Um, as soon as you say building up, all of a sudden there's this thin layer of steam and hissing, whirring mechanical noises that erupt from the portal that Atlas uh, er- uh, comes from. As it does so, you hear the sound of Atlas's heavy metal boots. <laughs> Atlas's faceplate comes through the portal, as do his enormous fists as they clench together, charged with electricity. However, he has no body, no torso, no legs, no waist. He is just two boots, a floating head, and a pair of tiny arms. Um, As he approaches, uh, he is probably about knee height at best to uh, to everyone in this room as he... Uh Atlas was not completely built. Oh my god! You're adorable! As Thea flies over and is now able to look at you eye to eye standing on the ground. Look how cute you are with your little feet and your head. And she'll knock on your body. Atlas is confused. Also scared. That's okay. This is... Atlas feels breakable. No, you're fine. Here, I'll hold you. And Thea is going to climb onto your back like a small backpack and try to reinforce you until you tell her to release. Should it be whenever you want. (laughs) (laughs) Thea's got wings, right? Yes. Ooh. Uh... You currently have a Thea backpack. Ooh, yay. I like this. (laughs) It's almost like uh, like another pair of characters that were on the death match a while ago. I feel very familiar now, uh, and and uh, I'll start marching forward. Uh, okay, well he seems ready. What about you? Uh, I can never remember your name uh, because because of the you, you with the giant monster on your back. Robbie Clark and the Hunger. I can are never you? remember. Oh He's got gosh. two names. He's got two. I'm names. Robbie Clark, and this is the Hunger. Like I said, two first names. That's a lot to remember. I remember everybody's name from my class. I'm pretty sure that's Robbie. And Uh, and the hunger. Yeah. That's me. Thank you. That's me. Are you are you ready? Are you ready to fight? You you good you feeling good? Uh you do you have any issues? We're feeling great. See, good. One for three. Yeah, we're feeling great. We watched some cartoons. We had a cartoons. Cereal. Cereal. Puppies. We are ready. To adventure, the yeah. super redacted, unbreakable friends. Yeah, we're gonna kill each other. That's a very long name, but I guess whoever wins can decide if you want that. It's we're gonna have to make sure it's like on a shirt where it's just a long, maybe on a cape, maybe on mm. a cape. It would fit on a cape. We'll get you all capes if that's the name you go with. I wear a cape. I wear a backpack. Did you just say you ate puppies? No one Is that said not something this thing. That you guys do. <laughs> the grandmaster Atlas, just kind of freezes. <laughs> Atlas cannot eat. He still does not have a mouth. Oh, that makes sense. Now we probably wouldn't eat puppies if we didn't have mouths either. The thing is, they have a great amount of nutrients for their biomass. <laughs> well, 
you know, I'm gonna let that be an internal team thing that you all figure out together. Right? You can discuss mm -hmm. and figure it out, and I'm gonna go make sure that Doug doesn't come near the arena <laughs> today. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that it's maybe uh, maybe we yeah. just move on to the death match. Uh, no, to be fair, remember this is the death match, and not only will you get to choose, of course, the name of your team and be the team leader, but then maybe you can also instill a plan where people can't eat dogs on your team or whatever you want, and we'll give you. Yeah, what else can we give you? Stickers! As she yells from Atlas's back, you'll all get stickers as well. That's cool. Do can you we get stickers? Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. As uh, as Thea says this, uh, Atlas um, has these two like kind of tiny pipes uh, go into Thea's backpack, and you just hear this very soft, and then the pipes go back into his hands. What was that? <laughs> you will find out once oh. we begin the mayhem and death. Oh. That's amazing! Can we start the mayhem, Arbiter? Let's go. As the Arbiter uh, slams his hands together one more time, an invisible sound wave rips open a portal in the Dread Fortress, <laughs> taking us once again to the Ether Drifts as we find ourselves in space on an asteroid floating uh, beside a large gaseous planet. The gravity here a little bit less than uh, than what you're used to at the Dread Fortress. We never really talked about the, 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 the what the gravity is of Dread Fortress, but it's different here. Um, so you got, you find yourself in space. The Acolytes once again in a large floating grandstand high above, cheering and chanting. <sighs> Grandmaster, after you. All right, champions, as she stands amongst the three of you here on this somewhat inhabited planet. This is your arena. I ask for you to fight your hardest to the best of your abilities to prove yourself worthy to lead this trio. For it is not just this team that you will champion, but perhaps my greatest armies as we continue to defend the void. So I need you to show us what you're truly made of to prove that you are worthy and to instill faith in not only myself and the Arbiter, but all of our acolytes as well. So prove yourself worthy and destroy your teammates. Understood? Affirmative. Uh, it's gonna be hard to punch all these people that I think are so cool, but somebody's gotta do it. That's Friendly what... fire protocols disabled. Mm. That's what? nice. That was the that you had. Perfect! Arbiter, any final words? I think we're about ready to go, uh... Acolytes, as he spreads his white glowing wings, fly high into the sky. Are you ready for blood? As once again, the Acolytes, ah, cheering, throwing their grandmothers into space and slushies, people ripping their shirts off and slinging beers everywhere. Uh, very well, champions. I need you all to roll me initiative. A flat D20 roll, please. Atlas still contains no blood. That's true. We got Oil, a five fuel. for copycat, 11 for Robbie Clark. Um, um I can, could the, could the arbiter please assist me in a roll? Yeah. My, I, I've left my dice in my pants, which are no longer attached to my body. 16. <laughs> you have no mouth, but you wear pants. <laughs> Priorities. Yes. Nobody said he didn't have a butthole. No, he did it actually. Last actually, episode. actually, we did clarify that he didn't yeah. have a butthole. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. It's it's no, it is a port. It is just not a butthole. Well. Oh, you know. I see. That's why. Yeah, that's yes. He he must keep all of that. Uh. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Junk files. Because <laughs> that is where I keep all of my junk. All of my junk inside my trunk. Farewell, Atlas. As you <laughs> situate your junk in your pants. Uh, you're the first to act here in round number one. <gasps> All right. Um, Atlas moves in as, uh, his thundering footsteps, um, are, well, his once thundering footsteps, uh, patter towards, um, patter towards the hunger. 
As he does so, he sees the multitude of fangs and jaws uh, snapping and clapping around. Uh, and he has come up with a plan in order to try and uh, deal with the multitude of, uh, of claws and teeth. And he begins to point both of his hands forward and fire a barrage of what appear to be stickers <gasps> into the mouth of uh, each of the different tendrils. Uh, almost like a machine gun uh, just being fired one after the other. Over and over again. Uh, that is uh, that is Atlas's action. Roll to uh, roll to attack. A All right. Uh, Atlas is going to roll to attack and get a. We wait with bated breath for those bated of us breath. who can breathe. You know, I assume yes. Atlas doesn't breathe, so At At Atlas does not breathe. Right. Atlas can hold his breath, though. That is that is definitely a thing. Excellent, excellent, excellent. A six. Ah, that is only a six. Ooh. Six defense. Fourteen. Gonna miss. Robbie Hart Clark and the Hunger. How do you avoid this onslaught of stickers that begin to parade their way towards you with quite intensity? You have fallen for our greatest trap, Atlas because you thought we didn't like stickers, but you didn't realize this. And I opened my backpack to reveal not just the hunger's nest of, of the abyss and the shadow, but a big <laughs> book full of stickers that the hunger and Robbie has been collecting for eons and eons. So as the stickers all stick to the hunger, it undulates its beautiful flesh and slowly drags the stickers into the book and sets them gently in place. Our power grows, as does our collection. Thank you. <laughs> as, um, as Robbie and the Hunger open up the book, Atlas says, as predicted, you have been working with me. Therefore, I have seen through all of your moves. And now that you have opened your backpack and made it vulnerable to me, uh, you watch as a large uh, sticker. This one uh, looking like a uh, like a like a kind of almost like a, a '90s uh, turtle. Um, it is a it has pizza and has like a bandana and stuff like that, and uh, it has like this sort of orange coloration to it. As he loads it up, uh, he begins to charge his fist with it, and he is going to launch the biggest. Michelangelo sticker directly into the heart of the nest which he has now opened and exposed uh, as a vulnerable space. I'm going to use uh, one of my power-ups for this attack. Do it. Um, power up. Power up. Power and I'm also up. going to use my uh, my power uh, which is uh, my uh, unstoppable surge. Oh! <gasps> And I'm going to sacrifice three of my fighting spirit to add three to my attack here. Ooh. Okay, sacrificing three fighting spirit using a power up. Roll to attack. Do it. Uh, so they May you, uh, you be get... successful. Who are you aiming towards again? Uh, it is still Robbie, but I'm aiming in inside the backpack where the nest of the hunger is. Ooh. All right. The nest. Um, <gasps> okay. A spicy nine. Oh, uh, well, that's not... plus three, so that'll be a uh, twelve. Twelve. Time. That's right. Ugh! It is not enough. As Robbie responds with an eighteen, <laughs> Robbie Clark, it is yours now to de describe how this mega power-up move comes your way. I'm holding the backpack open. The giant sticker shoots towards me. I can feel the hunger's fear. And I think to myself, not today, old friend. And as the sticker goes closer, I clip my backpack shut. Clip. <gasps> and the sticker harmlessly sticks to the outer shell of the case. <laughs> the simple click. No. Thwarted by a child's backpack. Thwarted by a backpack. Dang it! If only I had seen through this. Um, Atlas has one last action, and he is going to attempt 
to uh now how do i impose a status effect on someone you have to use a status effect and then you have to hit them all right i'm gonna try my last action to impose a status effect okay this one however now that because i attached the my the sticker to my one of my fists as it reaches over to robbie i'm going to then try to change the grip on the on the hand and try to grab the backpack <gasps> and wrench it away Oh, oh! Imply, uh, imposing the status penalty effect. Okay, uh, make an attack roll. Is the status okay. effect loneliness? Because that always hurts. Separation anxiety. <laughs> oh. That is a dirty 20. Oh! oh! Versus a 16, it is going to hit. Ugh, describe what that looks like as you reach across and try to rip this from Robbie Clark. All right. Um, now, uh, if you don't mind me taking liberties, of course, Sal, uh, as the backpack is grabbed uh, and pulled, there's like these almost like these um, like sticky, um, veiny like appendages. Like the backpack itself isn't really like kind of fabric and stuff as it is pulled away from the small child. Um, these kind of thin streaks of this organic flesh like almost venom like dripping substance is still attached to the backpack but that is as it is pulled away the tendrils coming from the backpack are sort of lashed out almost as if they've been uh kind of almost severed and confused by the separation uh both uh both robbie and the hunger have uh separation anxiety as their status effect that they do, that they do. So they will take a point of damage for the attack itself and another point of damage for the status effect. Now remember, Robbie. Now, yes. you have to make sure that if you don't want this to permanently hurt you again and again, that on your turn, you use one of your actions to remove it. Try to grab your backpack back if you can. Capiche? I don't know what that word means, but okay. <laughs> Good enough. Resume the fight! Who's up next, Arbiter? Robbie Clark, it is your turn to respond down a oh. couple of fighting spirits separated from the hunger. What do you do? You guys see Robbie Clark freeze and then look up. And look a little bit confused. Uh, mister? Where am I? He looks up to, um, to Atlas. Uh... This is not after school. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. oh dang. Um, and he's no, going to. But do not worry. In a few moments, you shall be schooled. <laughs> he's going to walk over to. He's going to. He's going to walk over to Atlas and be like, "Can, can, can you help me?" And he's. Pointing at, uh, pointing at all these, the all the crowds and the fires. This is kind of scary. I, I don't. I just want to go home. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> and I'm going to use my first action to try to do an emotional attack on Atlas. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Try to crack that iron heart wrapped in <laughs> cola. Leave that guilt trip. Good idea and roll to attack as you lay it on very a nicely five. with a five. <laughs> it's a five. Atlas, roll to defend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Poor small Robbie Clark. 19, not going to be effective. Uh, Atlas, Atlas, how does your cold heart respond? Oh, Atlas, um... Uh, at, at Atlas, um, you see that there's this sort of like programming code that comes through. Um, um, small child, subject, detection, uh, sympathy required, lost child, 404 error, fucks not found. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, you see this has a little effect that you were hoping for still abandoned here in this space. What would you like to do? Okay, well, if that's not gonna work, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt my cap down, and then I'm gonna look up at the hung. I'm gonna look up at Atlas. I'm gonna use my second action to remove the status. <gasps> and I'm it. gonna say, "Man, I really thought that was gonna work on you, but you should have seen season one." Ah! 
and a new backpack is going to erupt out of the flesh of Robbie's back <laughs> as the innards of Robbie reveal themselves to be not a human child, but mm, Robbie and the the hunger are the one. We cannot be separated. This entire backpack turns into a gaping maw. You cannot, time and space cannot stop us. We were unified before the first waves crashed against the first beaches, and we shall still be together when the last star dies in the sky. And then the mouth will flip open and turn into a new backpack. But it'll keep some of the stickers. And then with my last action, I'm gonna look at the backpack that Atlas is holding, and I'm gonna say, fetch. And it's going to turn into a chunk of teeth and limbs, and it is going to try to bite onto one of Atlas's arms, the one because that they're connected through energy, and just pull it away to the point where it is untethered from his body and return it to me. And I'm also going to do a status effect attack back. All right, let's go. Roll answer, the hit. Answer, answer. Oh, 18. That's a high bar. That's a high bar. Ooh. Versus a seven. Ooh, it's going to hit it. for two. Describe this attack as it is successful in landing both damage of the initial attack and a second one for the status effect. Pa pow! For the briefest moment, the backpack that Atlas is holding transforms into a sort of giant backpack insect with baby hands instead of insect hands and a weird little baseball cap like Robbie's and the fly mouth is going to split open and it's going to bite onto the hand and sort of like turn into a weird like handshake face and then skitter away and then sit up on Robbie's shoulder sort of holding the hand off to the side. Oh. That's what you get for not falling for my sympathy trick. <laughs> Now, is that, is that a part of you? What? You're a little, well, obviously not hungry, but the, yes. Everything's a part of me. I am the you unifying see. force. Unifying force. All right. And then, and then that last sentence, hunger, do you want to repeat that last, uh, the last two sentences you said before uh, you, you know, in, engaged? Oh, in yeah. Hunger. I talked yeah. about how we were friends back before the first waves crashed against the first beaches, first and we'd still be we friends can... after the last star died in the sky. Because friendship is the most uh, powerful power in the universe, friendship and is it's a... how we connect. You... Okay. Now, would you say that's stronger than hunger? Ooh. The hunger is for friendship and biomass, oh, okay. which kind of is friendship, but on the most intimate of scales. <laughs> I'm learning so much about friendship today. <laughs> well then, Robbie Clark, the hunger with a big status effect hit here in round number one, but now copycat. It's your turn. What do you, what do you do? What are, what are those notes? I mean, obviously. <laughs> Let's see here. <clears throat> friendship. Mm -hmm. Last waves on the beach. Hunger. Um, you know, Hunger, you eat anything, right? Yes. Oh. I have something quite special for you. I've been saving it for a very special occasion, and I want your opinion on it, because I assume you've tasted pretty much everything, right? Many things, yes. I will twirl around, and I will have a very, very clean and crisp chef's outfit on. Oh. With a tray. Oh. And I will uncover it. And I would like to feed Hunger some Candyland gummy dots. Ooh. You present this. Is this like a, an attack? Is this, this is an attack. <laughs> I mean, listen. Candyland gummy dots sound good to the Hunger. <laughs> okay, I will roll for attack. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Do it! You unveil these delicious gummy drops with a, a nice 13 weighing in. 13 versus a 7. It's gonna hit! <gasps> What's interesting about the Candyland gummy dots is that they technically uh, had been banned and stopped production because uh, they are too dangerously chewy and prevent mm -hmm. the imbiber 
uh, from being able to uh, control their airways. <laughs> Breathing does seem like that'd be a problem. They must be what? Constantly chewing then at this. They are very, very much so stuck chewing. They're quite gummy. <laughs> that point hits as you serve up a good amount of damage. Robbie Clark, you're busy munching on and trying to devour this thing. Copycat, what do you do next? I I will then uh, take a book out of Hunger's bag. <laughs> and I mean quite literally, I will take... I would like to attempt to take the uh, the sticker album from oh. his backpack. All right. Oh, a theft. Go for uh, it. Let me roll. Yeah. yeah. Woo. 17 coming out hot tonight. <laughs> Versus an 11. It's going to hit another <laughs> point of damage against your fighting spirit, Robbie. Yeah. Oh, well, you see. It's my sticker book now. <gasps> Oh, wait a minute. That's that's not part it of the be, game. It would be tragic if someone were to. That's not part of the game. That's I'm gonna not part try, of the game. I'm gonna start trying to rip the stickers out of the book very badly with like my thumbnail and crinkle them up. Is this a third Damn. attack? Yeah, it's just not the best part. Be, I would like to apply a status effect of yeah. uh, <laughs> of a crushing. Crushing loss. Yes, yes. Wasted time. Investment gone. 12 to hit. Response. Coming in with... <gasps> oh, 17. It's not going to be enough. Robbie you Clark. really have these things stuck on here, don't you? Why don't they come up? use the special glue that we're not supposed to that's hidden in the drawer and usually you're supposed to use it with mommy and daddy outside because it smells funny. Do you know the brand name of that glue? Gorilla. Gorilla. Right. It is very Fine. good glue, a can you. vouch. Yes, yes. Is that you, all for your turn? You put it in your nose, yes. you have to go to the hospital. But I will, I will keep the book tucked under my arm. In <laughs> oh no, it's mine now. <gasps> oh. Hunger, please help me. That will in my turn. All right, we've got uh, status effects slung out, damage done, both physical and psychological here in round number one. Thea! Uh, yeah? I need you to roll me a d20. I can do that. And from the back of Atlas, you see her only with her mouth available, and she kind of like a cat coughing up a hairball, spits out a d20 giving us a nice even 10 across the board 10 that's nice. that's okay nice. you know that's it's that's... solid work i agree 10 yeah. is very respectable it's it's fine you know it's pretty solid pretty solid it's pretty solid and honestly for where this fight is we're all pretty evenly matched in where they're turning out here status effects used across the board i'm pretty happy with this arbiter are you taking bets on who's gonna win this oh well you know i <sighs> I probably shouldn't. I, I told my sponsor I wouldn't take any more bets, but if you if you want to take a bet, let's take a bet. Hmm. I feel like it'd be unfair as me as the leader, but I'm definitely choosing Robbie Clark, as she says, seeing the invincible backpack emerge once again from him. I think that's a clear kind of leadership approach. Plus, hmm. He already has a name for the team, so there's a clear desire there. That's true, but I I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I think Copycat might have what it takes to annoy the rest of them to death. I really thought you were going to go for Atlas there. I mean, his resilience through all of this and his cold-hearted appeal and not responding to Robbie Clark's you know, appeal for help, I thought would have really just been your thing. Oh, yeah, but look how tiny he is. He doesn't really have the stature of a leader anymore. Whoa! <laughs> Heights? That's how you're basing leadership? Oh, okay. That's it. Round two. Just kick it off. Not tall Every day I like you less and less. <laughs> Round <laughs> number two! Atlas. All right. Oh, short, short Atlas. 
Uh, so Atlas is going to use his first action to clear his status condition as he uh, as he just sort of uh, as he kind of like separates outwards with um, all of his limbs and his head. Uh, each individual piece starts to then just rotate at high velocity uh, until they are free and clear uh, before then reassembling back together around uh, the Thea backpack that happens to be there. Atlas, I feel like Iron Man. <laughs> Atlas has an idea. Atlas then uh, is going to spend uh, his remaining two actions healing. <gasps> but the way I'd like to uh, to do this is is I would like to um, I would like to pull apart my shell, and uh, I would like to uh, basically just there's this electric guitar that sort of strings around as it's like being dragged across the uh, the strings as Atlas then starts to use those sections of shell to encase Thea in a Atlas Iron Man sort of armor. Um, with uh, with all the bits and pieces as he is going to use Thea to reinforce his shell uh, a little more as a makeshift body. Absolutely. Absolutely you can. I'm ready for this! I was born ready! All right. Uh, okay, so the I was, first... I was is... going to say, actually, since you're using Thea as a, uh, as a core, go ahead and roll with advantage on these. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right. So uh, the first one uh, is a success. All right. 13. And the second one is a success with an 18. Okay. Woo! You are successfully going to heal for two as you take advantage of Thea's uh, vitality. I don't, I don't really know what we're tapping into here, but... Uh... Energy, spirit, <laughs> life force. Yeah, all that made up stuff. That Goldfish. Gold, lots of goldfish. So now what I'm imagining is that there is a tiny iron Thea um, with what looks to be like electric wings, like kind of the, those those large wings that have come out, and these circles, like almost like these perfect like bangles of energy that circle around uh, the arms, almost like you know, kind of kind of almost like a like a like a fisty cuff monk type thing, um, with just an assortment of weaponry uh, that sort of becomes like interchangeable in the uh, the wrists and the hands. All right. I'm voting for you, Atlas. And Atlas believes in Thea. No, we are no longer Atlas or Thea. We are Fatless. <laughs> Sorry, did you say fat ass? Yeah, I think I heard uh, fat ass. So, uh, whoever said that in the audience, can I blast them into oblivion? Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Uh, Go ahead and pick somebody out no. of chat. <laughs> Now is he? Uh, oh, okay. oh, oh. Freaking! <laughs> <God, run. laughs> you know what? Go ahead and pick three acolytes out of the chat that you would like to demolish with that nat twenty. Okay, uh, I'm gonna blow up. Um, I'm gonna blow up. Uh, ooh, okay, Locke was on side with down with the puppy killer, so you're you're, you're good. Commodore, I I feel like you know while you are on my side, you did cheer for the puppy killing, uh, so that. Uh, I'm gonna go with Cassander and Bildor. Yep. Yep. Excellent choices. As the three of them, as they're cheering, unexpectedly <laughs> see this coming their way and go Psh! as they explode and all that's left in their seats are piles of ashes. <laughs> we'll put them back together later. It's fine. Yeah, we Combines will, his we name remember. to Fat Lass. Now, do you spell fat with an F or a P? Like P-H-A-T, you know, like the cool kids do it or do you, is it? F-A-T. Atlas does not need to spell. The only word that he knows is pain, and it is coming your way in abundance. Me? I'm just taking notes. I'm going to spell yes. it with a P-H, okay? And and next, you'll be taking these hands. Go right. bow. As you guys uh, bicker and quarrel there, Cinder, Robbie Clark, it is your turn as the two of them fight amongst themselves. Looking at these two, once friends, now traitors. <sighs> I thought we were friends. I thought we were going to save the day together. It was going to be us and the hunger together forever. But you don't you care know, about me. You don't care about my stickers. <sighs> it's 
just Okay, well, them. I can't even remove them, to be fair. Also, you do kind of eat puppies, and that's kind of like a... We consume all biomass. You know, I would be okay if you ate something else other than puppies. But, you know, kidding? that's kind of where my line stands, <laughs> is the puppies. No, and to be like fair, I gave you candy. Piglets? Yeah, sure. Oh, I... Yeah, sure. I, I don't know, that's kind of a gray area for me. That's the difference between us, copycat. I don't put different biomass above the rest. To me, we are all equals. So I will not belittle a little piglet by saying it is more edible than a delicious puppy. All biomass is delicious, and it is all equal in power. And I was hoping, after the wonderful adventure that we went on, that we were going to become best friends and then you stole my book, and you didn't care about my feelings, and you hit me really hard. I didn't hit you. I was pointing at Atlas. I'm sorry, it's confusing. Oh, him? Oh, no, sorry, his name is Fatlass. Yes. That's his new name. Yeah, Fatlass. As if yes. you know what it's like to combine with another, to become one from the many. Fatlass. I, I shall I have just. You. I have literally just done so. Ah, yes. See? My face plate comes up, and you see fear inside. Just because you can sit in a driver's seat doesn't mean you know how to build a car. And now I shall teach you the ways. I will use my first action to remove the status effect that my once friend copycat put on me, and I will throw up oh, all was, the gooey stuff. It was unsuccessful. You don't have to do that. I yeah, won't even know. worry about doing that then. <laughs> because I didn't even need to. Instead, I will just be ready to unify us all. I thought we could do it together, but clearly I must show you the way. Oh, and then so I shall use... On the mantle of leadership. But I'm also mostly going to kill you and then eat your bodies. And then you shall become one with me. Because that seems to be the best way to make friends. That's just standard leadership, honestly. Yeah. So is this like team bonding in your eyes or? No, this is team bonding. And I shall activate my superpower as the tendrils erupt out of the backpack. And instead of going out into the world, they stab into Robbie Clark's eyes and create this weird sort of insular tube as his body floats up into the air. Very uh, Akira-esque. And he becomes this little fling. We are truly together as I activate the power of friendship. And then I shall t attack all of you and I'll spin in a circle really fast and just shoot beams of friendship, Eldridge energy. I'm gonna shoot two at Atlas and I'm gonna shoot two at Copycat. Pew, 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 all right. Pew, pew, pew. First Roll! one. Well, first two. Three has to be better. That's right, it does. First one at Atlas misses. Well, well, maybe it doesn't miss. We don't know. Five. <gasps> the second one's yeah. a natural 20! The second one's a natural 20, though. All right, Woo! Atlas, Three. roll to respond. The 14 does beat the five. Do you match? Nope. You will oh, take hits not. on the second one as that friendship beam penetrates a little bit into your metally outer shell. With a natural 20, you regain one fighting spirit. You also gain one adrenaline Robbie Clark, uh, Atlas, you're going to take uh, two points of damage, one for the hit, one for the nat 20. So uh, mm -hmm. two points Spicy. there. And uh, you got two more attacks going towards copycat. Yes, here comes the first one. That's a nine. Nine to hit. <gasps> Does it hit? Does it hit? <gasps> it does! Mm. This one, I'm just grabbing my book back really hard, so maybe she, she gets a paper cut. <laughs> but the second one is pushing her away because she took my book. Ooh. 11. Oh, I got a paper cut in between my fingers. That's the worst kind. Oh. Second attack is going to miss. Only one but point of damage. You don't get pushed back. You hold your ground. What do you do in that moment as you reject that attack? As he tries to push me, I basically like, I'm holding my hand and I just slap him. Ow. Get your hands off. Don't touch me. I need a Band-Aid. <laughs> Anyone have a Band-Aid? 
All shall like, become one. This could get infected. That's true. You do not need to worry about it getting infected. You will be destroyed long before any bacteria will have time to settle in. What is this? Both of you destroying everything. My goodness. I just wanted to be friends, and then you guys started being me. No, you're throwing a little tantrum. <laughs> I'm a little guy. You are not you a, little are a little guy. You are a guy. I'm a little guy. No, he's Look. a... Well, you're not really a little guy anymore. You're more like a little... A, you're like a Thea and... You. A little them. No. You're like a casserole. I love casserole. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. You know what you should, do? you should you should tell me how how fat last tastes. You know, before you all eventually, you know, we all become one. I will, but I'm out of action. That was my turn. <laughs> Copycat, it is your turn here. All right. I, I am just to now speak like this. Like <laughs> I, I'm trying, how did, his, that's his, he's in his unified form. Yeah, no, no, it, it checks, it checks. He's got mouths for eyes. Yeah. Yes. Apologies, copycat. The floor, the arena, <gasps> it is yours. Thank you, thank you. Well, since I'm not going to get a band-aid for this, I'm going to transform and I'm going to go into downward dog position and... Uh, turn into... Uh... The hunger's mother. <gasps> oh. Oh. Who would like to describe what the hunger's mom looks like? It looks different for everyone. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I imagine it just looks like literally just like uh, the hunger, but with like curling like rings in, in its tentacles and <laughs> like, uh, like a cigarette like in one of the mouths. <laughs> Hunger. An old coffee. <laughs> Hunger. Hunger. What are you doing over here? What have I told you? What have I told you about combining yourself with other, you know, other creatures from other dimensions? But Rob, Rob is really cool. He's different than the other I ones. I don't want to hear it. This is, you know, what am I supposed to tell your father? You know. Tell him I'm happy for once, Bob! Well, I don't die. I can't tell your father that. Because you know he's going to come over here and he's going to... Mm, mm, mm. He's going to bring the Eldritch Belt. You know him. You know? Why can't you be like your brother, huh? Bob, my brother's an asshole. Yeah, but you know what? He's gone ahead and he's conquered so many dimensions. You know, your brother's a dimension conqueror. I want to just be friends one. with dimensions. Bob, we can just you know be friends with them. Just I don't want to hear any excuses. You know what? Your brother is so much better than you. You need to be exactly like him, all right? Now quit your fooling around in this dimension and hurry up and go get some other dimensions. What are you doing? Sitting <laughs> here playing doll or something? This is very painful as your attack is clearly <laughs> unfolding. <laughs> Are there additional elements to this? Because it hurts like, like hell for the rest of us. <laughs> I would like to attempt a status effect of a... Uh, okay. Of a... Uh, childhood trauma? Parental child disappointment? Shaming. Yes, parental disappointment. <laughs> We've all, all been right. there. <laughs> Woo! 15 to hit. Nine to defend. It's going to hit for two. with you anymore you go you're grounded you hear me you grounded no supper Bob. no oh. supper no i ain't got here no supper for six whole centuries all right six centuries yeah okay. i want you to sit down i want you to think about what you've been doing that's right kind of you just stand right there he's gonna, start a, he's gonna land back on the ground <laughs> Deflated. Deflate, yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna turn to, to uh... Fatless? I was gonna say Atlas, but I was like, what should I use? Which name? Uh, I'm going to choose... 
at you! What are you supposed to be? An overgrown can opener? And I'm going to use a ten uh, tentacle attack at a uh, fat lass. Yes. <gasps> I don't want to fight the tentacles! <laughs> 15 to hit, Atlas. All right, with a 15 to hit, Atlas gets a... Sorry, it is super slow. Foundry, work, damn it, now! Stuart! It worked! Nope, ignore, nope, ignore that one. Okay. It's the 10. 10, it is no good! Stuart must have rigged yours, I apologize, but it will fail as you take that damage as a tentacle. Please describe, copycat, how this tentacle comes in. Uh, so I'm gonna have tentacle shoot out and I'm going to uh, grab Atlas around the neck and I'm going to attempt to pull Thea out. Oh, <laughs> oh dang. All right. Let's do this. So Let's gonna, do this. You, uh, you're trying to pull Thea out as a third attack? Yes. All right. Let do me it. Roll, roll that. The, roll the hit. Yeah. Ho, ho. Mm. Oh, Eight. man. <gasps> oh, 40. dang. She's really stuck in there. Fatless, right. describe how so, Thea stays in. <laughs> so as the uh, as the tentacle uh, sort of reaches up it, and the, uh, the, the chassis sort of starts to pry apart as these two tendrils try to open up Thea's on the inside and uh you watch as Atlas kind of uh dives into the energy and then almost like a mouse trap slams shut on the tentacle uh getting it kind of stuck in the in the the thing before it wrenches and pulls its way out oh, oh that hurts so bad you're a bad little can open aren't you the <laughs> only thing this can opens is cans of whoop ass. Oh, 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 response provided. Okay, that one is actually really good. Uh, go ahead and roll looking. a d20 for me to see if that's really effective. If it's above a 12, I'm gonna give you an advantage on your next attack. Ah, oh, four. It's a four. Oof. That was still pretty good. That was still pretty good though. Uh, I will still take props. Yes, as you should. 10 out of 10 for me. I loved it. Ar Arbiter, did you like that comeback? Yeah, no, it was pretty solid. I, I think, uh, uh, you know, it's six, six out of ten. Six out of ten. Six what are your ten. levels? You've never delivered a really great comeback. Uh, yeah, I have. That's a great example. Good. Quick on your feet. <laughs> Maybe if you weren't wearing those Italian leather shoes, you'd be a little faster. Hey, this, a, this has nothing to do with my shoes. You leave my shoes out of it. this. You know what? I They're need a little crafted. bit of a breather. They're handcrafted. You know what? I don't need to have this discussion. Let's take a stretcher. I'm going to go hide Doug. And when we come back, we're going to finish this fight. And we're going to introduce things to our lovely, lovely acolytes. A little bit of chaos. Woo! Acolytes, do you love the amazing players we've had on the show week after week? Do you enjoy when chaos events reign supreme in the arena? Well, know that it's all thanks to your bits, tips, and subs. Your dollar increases our chaos bar and helps us pay the talented folks on our show. For those of you who have already given, thank you so much. I'm going to use my short sword for uh, another attack. <gasps> oh! Oh! Not one! Not bad, you can roll it again. Oh, I can advantage. You're right, you're right, you're right. Nat 20! Natural 20! Oh! <laughs>
Oh! The drama! The emotion! Do I want to do this? I will do it. And I'm gonna expend a luck point. Another d20. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> Cause I might okay. literally fucking die. <laughs> I'm looking at my- Observe the terrifying chinchillas. As they are unionized, they're quite dangerous. Their fluffy bodies hide many knives, and they're known to trample a champion or two. If you would like to tap into the ferociousness of these terrible monsters, check out our chinchilla shirt in our store. Nice dice, dice daddy. Good roll, dice daddy. That's it, dice daddy. Don't be shy. Get in there. Thanks, Dice Daddy. Dice Daddy. Do minor illusion and create a top hat, my lady. <laughs> just like, <laughs> <laughs> just walk ten feet away. And you need her. She's so angry. If you ever, my lady, me, I will punch you in the face. <laughs> hey, you'd have to be a lady first for me to my lady. Excuse me. No, no, nothing, Grandmaster. I would never dream of of disrespecting you in that way. Far beyond the comforts of home, past the dimly lit taverns, the gently swaying fields. The tallest snow-clad mountain peaks, and above even the golden horizon itself, lies a dark void outside of all space and time. If you're lucky, the dread fortress will call to you, drawing you out of the darkness and into the halls of the Grand Master, Elusia Skypiercer. Though retired from battle, the Grand Master yearns for the days of glory and bloodshed. She has tasked the Arbiter, her servant in all things, to curate a spectacle, a series of games to commemorate her greatness and provide a momentary respite from the dull droning of boredom. Heroes, villains, monsters and beasts of all shapes and sizes are ripped from time and their plane of existence to fight for survival in her arena. You, Acolyte, are called to bear witness to D20 Deathmatch. Welcome to another episode of Did You Know? While crayons were originally developed to be a child's form of artistic expression, they are made of paper and paraffin wax, so they work as a makeshift candle. So, to prepare for your next lights out emergency, get your box of Crayolas. Better yet, just get a flashlight.
is Mr. Biscuits, and he is lonely. As a 10-year-old senior, he's looking for a silver fox who will bark up his tree. This little fellow loves frolicking through the fields and is always willing to share his bone. Bonus points, Mr. Biscuits is a great listener and has never understood the phrase of too much yapping. As a heads up, this little puff pastry is a nudist and fiercely rejects clothing of any kind. At his age, he's learned it's okay to let it all hang out and is looking for someone to take naked walks along the beach with. Interested in Mr. Biscuits? Be sure to download our senior dog dating app, Dinder, to get started. Bow wow, Mr. Biscuits. Welcome back, Acolytes, to the D20 Death Map Arena! I hope you all have your concession food ready. I saw nachos earlier. What else are you all eating and drinking? What's in the stands? As we look out and she reads the acolytes, <sighs> keeping an eye out for the chat. What is it that you're eating today? Because our tummies must be full, especially when we've been watching the hunger devour everything. Something out there must be growling for your tummies. Double sun cola, always a power of the sun, keeps us going. What makes that list tick? We'll find out later right you're dispersing your molecules into a blue slushy become one with it script become one with it perhaps when you come back you're reborn part blue slushy who knows all right there's opportunities for growth for all of us we love a little you know arc of growth that we're going through arbiter what are you eating uh <clears throat> the arbiter has a has a nice giant plate of chili fries i think right mm. now uh he's just kind of scarfing them down in the in the interim before he has to get up and uh, and kind of uh, address the acolytes again. Uh, where's oh yeah, Thea's in. Hmm. Grandmaster yeah, Thea's, Thea's busy. Been. Can you can mm -hmm. you roll me a d twenty? Oh yeah, sure. I can absolutely do that. Uh, but in return, could you scooch a little bit further away? I don't want you farting in my area. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I guess. Oh, that would be great. It's a two. A, t a two? Yes. Well, I'm a bit distracted by your smell you're kind of already permeating it seems like it's running through you that's that's i'm the master kind of, of time and space you think i can't control my own bowel yeah that's hard to do <laughs> they said bowel <laughs> whatever uh, we have some we have some <laughs> housekeeping items to take care that's of that's another great example of his great comeback capabilities <laughs> i i listen i have a i'm a busy guy with important things on my mind a lot of things that you don't even know about because... like holding in those farts now that we know <laughs> let's go ahead and move in oh speaking of chaotic events i think it's time for our own chaotic event in the arena right that's, you should probably that's run what i was getting to we you were you weren't yeah. letting me talk no it's you fine you deal with your me. own you always, chaotic you events just talk over and me I'll set and you assume for them you know i should i should have you know I what should. i should you know, i should have let know. the shadow king just I should I'm I sorry what nothing nothing should have nothing I'm gonna I'm gonna uh acolytes you want to see some chaos as the arbiter stands up flaring his wings and the acolytes chanting chaos 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 and the three of you in the arena start to hear the the rumbling and shaking of people just slamming their feet up in the crowds uh I need ooh Robbie Clark, roll me a flat D twenty. Let's see what chaotic event we're gonna we're gonna get tonight. Ooh. Four. Four on this little planet. You start to smell something. Something Ooh. sizzling and Ooh. hot. Ooh. And you feel that heat, not from any star above, but from the ground your feet start to get warm and sweaty and in craters nearby you start to see sizzling and steam <laughs> and pops of lava bubbles as beginning to rise from underneath the surface is lava as the floor has now become lava you must quickly find a higher ground to protect your little toesies should you begin to burn so go ahead and roll what is it uh metal metal save dc yeah. 15. fine 
that high ground. Find 16 that high for ground. Robbie Clark's going to succeed. Ooh. The rest of Safe. you. I learned about how important the high ground was from that Star Wars movie. Mm. Four, also uh, from lava. I, <laughs> uh, do I have an advantage because Thea can fly? You did. <laughs> uh... Yeah, sure. Why I do not? have electric wings. Well, sure, why mm -hmm. not? Yep. Part of the description. Natural one! As it turns out, you gave her wings, but they are too tiny to lift up this metal body. I no, we're gone. Oh, shit. This is heavy. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just right. like this. Atlas, yeah. as this chaotic event rolls in, you uh, take a little bit of lava damage to those feet. You're going to take one point of damage to your fighting spirit. Everyone else going to succeed, taking no damage. Does uh, this set his pants on fire? <laughs> he was wearing pants, so I guess. Well, are your parent are your pants flame retardant or? Um, I, they're they're technically oh, they're technically Thea's pants now, so I'd say they're, they're they are metal. Uh, so I I mean, they're they're probably hot pants now, like you know. Hot pants. <laughs> She's yeah. got hot pants on. Right. Yes, yeah. she does. As your hot pants begin to glow, we are going to begin round number three. But before we do, the Arbiter yeah. stands up. <clears throat> Let's make this interesting. We might as well, right? He's yeah. going to uh, go ahead, snap Lord. his fingers, and from the sky, looking like a, a comet, like a meteor coming out of space, <laughs> the box of chaos slams down into the lava around you, and the lid flips open, a column of pink and yellow fire shooting straight into space going for an unknown distance just continuing on uh the box of chaos now on the field you can sacrifice an action to it in order to get a magical item of some uh unknown rarity most of them are good some of them aren't yeah, it's like it's, it's like 80 percent are fine chaos <laughs> yeah, we'll see what you get you get what you get yeah it's you like get what you get and you don't get upset exactly it's like one of those tattoo that. machines cool. All right, Atlas, here in round number three, it is your turn. Box of Chaos is on the field. What are you going to do? Uh, rem remind, my, remind me, did um, did Robbie get the backpack that I had taken off him back? It became part of me again, as all things do inevitably. Okay, and, and technically he got your arm, didn't he not? Yeah, I think... I think he got it yeah. back. The status you did. Effect. You did get your arm back with the status effect. Yeah. I did get my arm back with the status effect, so I, I kind of like rotated it around and, and dragged it back after I shook it. Um, okay. Oh, okay. You know what? I got it. I'm gonna run over to the box, and I'm going to open the box. As the box opens, that shadowy figure once again. <laughs> Claws coming out of the side, yellow eyes peering up at you. Uh, I was in the middle of a nap. Are you gonna knock first or what? He slams the box shut. He then knocks. <laughs> <laughs> the lid creaks open. I, I mean, at this point, I mean, you should have knocked first. At this point, it's just, I don't know what you're trying to do here. What do you want? I would like some weaponry to defeat my enemies. Oh, well, oh great. What, what do you want me to do about it? Uh, he feels like he's channeling Thea's energy here as he just go, he puts both hands in front of him and goes, Gib. Uh, that's not how this works, bud. What are you going to give me? No, it works. Gib! Oh. Gib, Gib! And she echoes inside of you. <laughs> um, you watch as uh, Atlas's hand sort of um, starts to almost turn, turn into like sort of like a, a juicer kind of device and starts to squeeze out uh, the bits of the hunger that had been like kind of uh, adhesed to his to, to his flesh, and then at the same time, you watch as the chassis opens up and reveals two kind of like wriggling tendrils from <sighs> Copycat that was sliced off. He then merges the two together in his hands, and he says, "Shape shifting Eldritch Hara." I was going to <sighs> eat that later. But he snatches it out of your hand, and instantly, in a in a in a really quick montage throws on a headband with a, a large uh, chef's knife and it's just like uh, in Monster Hunter World when the cats prepare the the food you know it starts, <laughs> throws up the tentacles and starts chopping through them Hibachi. 
serves him a it like sashimi across the as he pops one in his mouth. Mm, tastes like puppies. Atlas, Delicious. I'll be right Atlas back. Atlas looks down at them. I have no mouth. Yeah, well, that sucks to suck. It's gonna shut the lid, and uh, <laughs> the box begins to rumble and shake. <laughs> Roll me a d20. All right, here we go. That's an eight. An eight! The hand returns and offers you a small blue pill. This should keep you going all night long as the pill extends your fatigue limits. You now die at six fatigue instead of five. Congratulations. Now, if your death match lasts longer than four hours, that's your problem. Get that checked out. Atlas looks at the pill, <laughs> looks at the box, looks at the pill, looks at the Grandmaster, looks at the Arbiter, looks at the audience, looks at the box, looks at the pill, and then says, I have no mouth. <laughs> it's a suppository. I have no port back there. I do! As Thea pips up. And he will open his mask and give the pill to Thea. <laughs> Since you are fatless right now, <laughs> what is consumed for Thea will be consumed for you. <sighs> as she takes I'm a real boy! <laughs> Can I also and, point out that every time Atlas has come to deathmatch, without fail. You're one of the few people who don't have a mouth. I'm sorry. We're, we're I'm a, sorry. We're a mouth heavy show. I don't know what you want. Yes. Apparently. Yes. At least on your team, you know, uh, Robbie's got more mouths to spare. So. Fair. You've fair. got enough for the whole team. And cloacas. And cloacas. That's fair. All right. Cloacas for everyone. She'll devour that blue pill for you as she stiffens up and channels that energy into the rest of your body. All right. Feeling Thea's stiff energy running through me, uh, I, I will, I will uh, turn my attention to, um, uh, to Copycat. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pick up the uh the box and um i'm going to uh impose a status effect uh i'm going to call it anger the box and i'm going to hurl the box at copycat and pretend like she did it <laughs> what? whoa 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 you can't just pick me up wait, wait, what are you doing <laughs> atlas initiate yeet protocol Cut. <laughs> All right, you're throwing this at Cat or, or Robbie? What did you say? Uh, Cat. At Cat. Roll to hit. Do it, right. do it, do 13 it. 13 with the status oh. effect. 11, it's going to hit for two. Ow! Oh. oh, my gosh. What is that? Ow! Oh. That hurt. Don't what forget to knock. <laughs> Wait, did you just throw a chest at me? Uh, Atlas will uh, open up his gloves and have them fold backwards so Thea can just give the middle finger. Uh, and I'm going to use this as an action to uh, to heal myself. All right. Roll a uh, metal save. DC 12. Ooh! 22, baby. You are going to oh. heal for one fighting spirit. Fuck yeah! Start. The power of fuck power! Uh. <laughs> Oh, super effective. Anything else for your turn, Atlas? Uh, no, Atlas is uh, is done. He has consumed his blue pill. He has launched the box and he has get flipped the bird. He is, he is good. That is excellent. Then next up, we see you, Robbie Clark, and the hunger. That box currently at Copycat, AKA your mom's feet. The hunger is coiled up in itself sort of quaking at this mental destruction that copycat has thrust upon it in the with wearing the mask the visage of its mother and then through the coiling tendrils there is a beacon of hope <gasps> hey hey that's not your mom that's not your mom 
Huddy, beneath the wrangling teeth and claws and tubes, Robbie calls out to the hunger. That's not your mom. Do you remember when we ma she made lemon squares? She was really excited for this plan. And the... <laughs> That's okay. Let me take care of this one. And the hunger is going to <laughs> entirely go into the backpack. Um... I am going to... I'm, I'm not going to remove the status effect. I'm going to let the oh. pain drive me. Oh. And then Robbie is just going to march right up to Copycat dressed as a giant Eldritch horror mom. Looking at her. First I action, can't believe you got me in the face with a chest thing. You know, he's going to kick up his chest. Kick it, it open. open. As you kick it open, the, the box, once again, he's like kind of... His eyes are swirling, kind of dizzy because he just got tossed. Why does nobody want to knock? It's hard. What do I'm, you want? I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm on a mission of friendship. I have to act fast. I need something <laughs> cool and powerful. And I have for you an ancient tome full of secrets. The secrets of where all things end. I, I don't know what that means, but it's fine. Hand it over. And I return to you a book. That upon the cover says everybody poops. <laughs> <laughs> this is from my world, and it can teach you that even a robot like Atlas has an end. <laughs> sure, f f fine, whatever. He's just kind of over it. He's gonna shut the box. It's gonna rumble and shake. Roll me a, a d20. He brings knowledge from the outer worlds. <laughs> Such great info. A 10. ten. A 10 for trading such beloved information. That shadowy figure in the box hands you a ring once belonging to the Arbiter himself. Once you place that ring on your finger or tentacle for one round, you are the master of all time and space and any attacks towards you are done with disadvantage. Okay. And I act. I choose to activate it on my turn, and then it is uh, for the next round. Whenever you activate it, it lasts for one round. Yes. Until the end of your next turn, then. I will put it in my pocket for now. I'll put it on my finger for now. Somebody takes it. Then I'm going to walk right up to this mean old copycat pretending to be my friend's mom and be mean. And I'm going to say, hey, copycat, I know it's you in there, and I don't want to fight you, but you're being mean to the hunger, so if you're not... Stopping being the hunger's mom, I'm just going to kick you in the leg. And I'm going to kick it in the leg. Because I'm just a little boy. Oh, my God. Uh, Robbie, is that you? What? Make it the... what? And I'm going to kick you in the leg until you stop being my friend's mom. First attack. I have a million. 11 to hit. It's going to miss. Woo. Okay, here we go. Round two. This kick twice as hard. I'm going to pull back really far. And then I'm going to kick really hard again. Natural one! Oh! With a natural one, you lose a point of health. You also gain a fatigue. That's okay. Oh, the hunger, I won't let you down! And I activate the most powerful of my secret arsenal that I learned before I became friends with the hunger. <gasps> and I call this one the secret move. And I try to kick her in the nuts. <laughs> okay. Is I mean, a, it's a your mom. Attack? You would, I mean, sure. And I'm going to make this one a power attack. Oh, that's right. That's Power right. up, okay. coming in. I'm not even supposed to do this move. I learned that in school, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> That's a 14. 14 to hit. <laughs> 10 to defend. It's going to hit for three points. Right up mama's nuts. You better <sighs> run back to a different form and stop being mean to the hunger or I'm going to keep kicking <sighs> you in the balls. Sorry for using bad language. <laughs> Robbie. Robbie, what are you talking about? Oh, gosh. Oh, first my, first my face. I got chest in the face, and now I get a foot in the nuts. Oh, my gosh. What is wrong with you kids? <laughs> Robbie, was that, your, was that your last attack? 
That's my turn, yeah. Okay, you, you lose another point of uh, fighting spirit because of the status effect. Yeah, Worth it. So sad. Mm, yeah. All right. Cat, you get kicked in the nuts, but it's your turn. <laughs> Robbie doesn't know much about how things work, guys. Yeah. I mean, if you get it kicked hard enough anywhere there, it's going to hurt. So I think this works. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe you would kick me in the nuts, Robbie. I made you lemon squares. That was What's real. wrong with you? I thought they were delicious. I thought you loved lemon squares. You know, hunger likes lemon squares. What's wrong with you? I see through you. Oh, you see through me. Is that right? All right. Then for my attack, I'd like to pull out my cell phone and call Robbie's mother. <laughs> okay. Roll it. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Roll the dial, I guess. You know, Robbie goes, I, I don't know about your own mother. Oh. I've been to a million dimensions, sweetie. Mom to mom. Dang. Mm. 11. Oh. Versus a 20. Oh. Oh, you get the dial tone. His mom's oh, not listening. He's at work. <laughs> Is there no service in this whole building? What kind of... What kind of battle royale are you running here, Arbiter? Huh? Hey, listen. Don't look at me. I... We... A pretty shoddy one, that's what. What are you talking about? I, I have I have five bars right here. Just because she didn't pick up, that's not that's not on me. No, no. Babe, no, who do you, who do you have? Like, no, Who's your carrier? Who's your carrier? My carrier? It's Eldridge T. What do you think? Well, uh, see, that's that's why that's your problem. You you need to subscribe to Dread Fortress Mobile. Don't worry, Stuart can get you connected yeah, with we'll it if you, you can find him. Where's that Stuart boy? He's always out in the courtyard trying to practice his magic tricks. Oh, all right, all right. Well, then in the meantime, in the meantime, I'm going to attempt to grab Robbie's ear. <gasps> do it. Do it. Do it. A <laughs> five to hit. That's my great. <gasps> 21 to defend. Not going to work. Jeez. I snapped my hat on extra tight. All right, all right, all right, you little whippersnapper. Okay, fine. You know what? You win. You win. All right? You win. I won't try to grab your ear or anything like that, but no more lemon squares. You got it? You wear an excellent mask, but it is a mask. <gasps> You're right. It is a mask. And I wear it well. <laughs> That was scary. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I'm going to attempt to, uh, lick Robbie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just One enough. degree of desperation have we turned to at this point? <laughs> Is this a normal lick or are you, you doing anything special with this one? I'm doing the old mother, you know, like you got something on your face, honey. Oh, that kind of lick. I'm just... <laughs> Oh, I ain't gonna be no lick a tongue. I ain't no Pokemon. I thought it was, yeah, I was like, or like a cat, like you're just licking. <laughs> I rolled a lick, I guess. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> no, when you said it. <laughs> I, was, I was like, that's, that's a new one. <laughs> Ten to lick. <laughs> Dirty 20 to defend. Another. Oh, oh my gosh. My. Wow. Listen. If it's not me Robbie, that's rolling well. Robbie, come here. Give me your face. You got something on your face. No, come here. No. Would you stay still? Oh, my gosh. They kids these days. All right. You, uh, your tongue all flaps. Three. Your tongue flaps wildly in the wind. Uh, Robbie, avoiding it narrowly. Box of Chaos still at your all's feet. Uh, but we're going to move on to round Number four, but they are first, uh, or actually, Grandmaster, yeah. give me a roll. Give me a d20. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let me pull out an old friend as you hear the little jingling of the collar, soft little clippy claps of nails that haven't been trimmed anytime soon as a little pug appears. <laughs> Perfect. 
perfect. Doug the Pug will roll, giving us a lovely nine. <laughs> a nine. He's warming up, okay? Let him be. Stupid dog. All right, you can just hide back there for a second. Hey, Fine, uh, dog, I hear the hunger really likes the puppies. You should, you Don't should go you say dare. hi. Don't you dare. She grabs Doug the Pug. There's no dog up here. Continue with the match. Round number four, Atlas, as Doug cowers like a coward. <laughs> All right. Um, Atlas, seeing the uh, mother tentacle monster, child tentacle monster, having a tete-a-tete, mm -hmm, a -tete, mm -hmm. um, Atlas is going to try two. First of all, I'm going to attempt to heal twice. Okay. Do it. Do Get it. Get after it. Do it. All right. That is a 14. First one's a success. A 15. Ooh. Second one is a success. You're going to heal for two more points. That's right. Nice. Get stronger. Uh, as Atlas uh, as Atlas heals for this one, you notice that his form is starting to change and become less clunky and more smooth and sleek, more form-fitting to Thea as, uh, as time goes on. Um, but now what is going to happen here is he is going to jump onto uh, roughly the back of where um where robbie and the hunger are and he's going to start trying to rip and pull out by hand chunks of the tendrils and the flesh um just almost in a very brute and savage way uh like plucking weeds <laughs> okay. violence a brute it indeed let's see if you're successful so say, uh, this is a normal attack all right uh this is a normal attack 12 to hit robbie 18 to defend Robbie. What's it look like? Well, the problem is, is that right now there's somebody making fun of my friend by pretending to be their mom. And that gives me the power, the real power, the power that I was trying to share with you guys, the power of friendship. So you can't hurt my feelings or my body right now because I'm helping my friend. And it seems to be a very effective shield in this moment. Atlas. And your new smooth body. A little lumpy. Thea's not entirely smooth. Like it's smooth on her, but you got you got little hills all around. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. I more mean like uh instead of Atlas's usual chunky, you know, thing that looks like it's from the Warhammer verse, you know, kind mm -hmm. of look. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. but I'm kind of also imagining like as he's ripping pieces out, it's almost like the regeneration is like too fast and too quick as he's just like nothing is happening. It's like he it's like it, it it's almost futile to do anything to this while uh while that's happening and and seeing that robbie is is not paying any attention atlas doesn't stop but at the same time he um he hasn't changed his protocol as that is the end of his turn <laughs> all right robbie as uh, atlas tries to rip at your back what do you do i'm gonna turn to atlas and in a voice of a thousand generations, I'm going to say, wait. And I'm going to go like this, Koshum. But when I do, a bunch of tendrils are going to shoot out too. And I'm just going to try to fling him up. Like, you know how like when the Hulk gets knocked far away and just goes, ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to try to hit him really hard and far away. Yeah. I figure out this stuff with copycat because she's being mean. <laughs> and I'm going to make this one a power attack. All boom, right. Boom. Show off them muscles! Using your That's last power up. Woo! Dirty 20. Woo! Versus a 17. It's going to hit for three. I am the greatest. Kaboom! And you... Woo! I imagine you explode into the crowd. A handful of alkalites just splatter in blood across everything. You <laughs> eviscerate a couple of like the VIP stands that are really close to the front. You do indeed as family IT dude. Great to be a gator and Lux and Christina still standing. Try to catch the Atlas that flies in their direction and are quickly smushed as they are his landing pad. Okay. And this is all under like a few seats that's known as just the splash zone. There's just bright red. <laughs> yes. Yes. The entire front row is wearing white D20 deathmatch t-shirts that just get sprayed with blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yep. then I will turn to Copycat. With my first action, or with my next action, I will say, 
I am going to use the power of friendship for real. Bah, and I'll punch my little fists together and I'm going to remove the status effect that's making the hunger sad. And then roaring out of my backpack, it shall return. And it's going to make two bite attacks against this false Eldridge mama bear. First one. Ha-chomp. It's trying to bite your fake tentacle. 17. Versus an eight, it's going to hit. And then for the second one, it's going to bite your fake Eldridge mom hair. Get rid of that fake hair. Oh, my God. These Dirty balls. 20 to hit. <laughs> 17 to defend. Another point of damage coming into copycat. We are the hunger and Robbie Clark. There were never anything before us, and at the end, we shall be all that is. And you are not our mom. Oh, That's my nice turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. Oh, Excellent. As you leave that mark, leaving a final impression to just say one more time that you are not the hunger's mom copycat this facade is wearing thin but do you hold your stance as we go into your turn oh god no honey i ain't gonna keep this up anymore my throat's killing me <laughs> uh i will raggedly because uh robbie and the hunger took big bites out of uh, Mama Eldridge horror. She's going to whirl and she's going to turn into the chest. <gasps> oh. All right, Box of Chaos is still there. Lid is already open because he assumes someone's going to come knocking. All right. Uh, come on, come on. It's your turn. What do you want? What do you got? And I open my lid and I look exactly like him and I'm facing <laughs> off at him right now. Ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't, get, damn it. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Hey, good looking. What's cooking? I, I, I don't know how to feel about that because I, I actually appreciate how much the compliment. Junk you got in that trunk. Okay, now this is getting weird. What do you want? What do you want? I, I want you to give me something. You want me to give you something? Yeah, you. That's how this works. You give like, me is something. It, is there like any? I, I. No, I know how this works. No, you because don't know. I want, you don't I know want how this you works. This is give my me thing. something. You give no, me stuff and thing. I give you stuff. No, 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 no. You give me stuff and I give you stuff. This is how this thing works. You know, it's been working for like ever now. I don't. Just. I, I want a million dollars. You want a million dollars? Yeah. Well, you know, I don't want to say anything, but he is a little clumsy. May have needed to go buy, you know. Grandmaster, some uh, Taco Bell. Gave her a card. Are you telling me you have Thea's credit card, the Grandmaster's credit card? I mean, I, I ain't saying that, now, right? Uh, but but, but if, you, if, if you if you were saying it, uh, I mean, if I was saying it, you know, I I could give you that I, money. I, I could give you that card. Technically, as an employee of the Dread Fortress, I. I can't take it, but if it happened to fall I mean, into my box. Who said you would be taking it? You know, it, you know, if I don't, you know, if I don't technically have a card, you know, maybe it kind of, you know, just kind of, whoops. I can't and technically, kind of I flicks, can't, I can't kind of stop you. It, she kind of flicks it into the chest. Oh, uh, no, you know, see, wow, that's the kind of, you oh, know. Oh, wow, yeah, oh, you dropped that. I, I'm, let tragic, me go see if I know? can find it real quick. Whoops, yeah. Maybe you should go. Yeah, I don't. I mean, find what? I didn't see anything. Exactly. As he shuts the lid, yeah. the box begins to rumble and shake. <laughs> Roll me a flat d20. Oh, roll it again. We've already had a The 10. ring has already been given. There cannot 17. be another. With a 17. Oh, don't worry with the box as the Grandmaster yells from above as she, holding Doug the pug in her hand, unslaps or slaps, unclasps his collar and throws it down at your feet while wearing this collar wherever you want, like on your arm, your neck, 
your comfort level. You move with the swiftness of a pug. You have an advantage on all metal saves. <laughs> pugs, pugs are known for their swiftness, as Obviously. everyone knows. They're very quick, very quick. And I got boner <laughs> medicine. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm cool. She's got a she's got a dog collar. You've got a blue pill. You put those together. You have a good Friday night. <laughs> All right, you know this seems cool. It's fine. It's uh, fine. Only if you want to. You don't have to use it. Oh no, I I get it. I get it. Hey hey buddy. She knocks on the lid. Uh, uh, it peeks peeks back out. Who is it? It's me. Or you? What do you want? I want to do a deal. I got something to give you. Another another deal? What do you mean another deal? This is the first deal we've ever done. I didn't give you anything. That's true. Right? He flips open the lid. A second a second tray with the box will cost you a fatigue as a heads up. Okay. That's right. Yep. Go for it. Go for Why it. Why not? We're in the second Why not? Yeah, we're going to do, do, do it. I'm going to take that. All right. You All take right, a fatigue. I'm going to do a very, you know, the very first transaction with you. Because oh, yeah. I like you. Right, I yeah. like your face. We're meeting you, now you, for the yes. first time ever. For the we, very first time. We've, we've never, never seen each other ever. Yes. Right. No, I don't even know this person, even yeah, though, I, you know, we look exactly the same. I could never pick you out of the lineup, even if it was uh, I know, in a mirror. It's, yeah. Oh, even uh, even if, you, it, you know, the reflection is very good looking. Might I say. It is a little uncanny. Uh, you're, yeah, you're it, is, it is pretty... Yeah, you, you as well, you know. Uh, Anyways, here, what do you here, have to trade? I have a collar. Oh, oh, Doug's collar. He's gonna take oh. it, and he's gonna go into the box, and the you box is gonna rumble and my shake. Gift? Damn! Roll a d twenty. <laughs> you regifted my a five. Gift. <laughs> What's the five gonna get? You receive the shield of the golden king. Behind its golden gleam, your metal increases by plus one. All abilities also impacted by metal increase by plus one. And only on a nat one defense does the shield shatter. So just don't roll a nat one like ever and you'll be fine. In including your health increases by one now while you're yes. holding the shield. That's true. It's pretty nice. Don't re-give this one. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I would never. I got that dog. I got. It wasn't even a dog call. That was from a cat. You know. Cat. You have it's one more. Cat. Doug's ears. You have one more action. What are you gonna do with it? Uh, I'm going to uh. I'm going to turn myself into a floating arm to hold said shield. Okay. <laughs> Only yeah, an arm. Float. Only an arm. O only an arm. Does it matter Nothing whose else. arm? Like Dwayne the Rock Johnson's arm or like the dude from Napoleon like, Dynamite? It's gonna look like the Arbiter's arm. Ooh. Ew. That has a nice looking arm. <laughs> sure. What do, you do? what do you do with the arm with your last action? <laughs> uh, I would like to attempt to uh, shield bash uh, Atlas. Do All right. it. Do it. Do it. <gasps> 21 oh, to hit. That's good. 10 to defend that's it. It's going to hit. All right. Describe as you, your floating arm and golden shield, do this attack. Lean into it with your whole forearm. As the, as the arbiter's right arm. I am going to flex and then <sighs> slip into the shield and do this like really cool like power stance, but only an arm. You only see the arm with the shield. <laughs> and the and the light, <laughs> the light shines just at the perfect angle and it's like shing. And then you just all of a sudden before Atlas can like focus, I just like barrel towards him with just the shield and the arm, by the way. No, no other parts, just literally an arm. So he just sees a, you know, golden shield barreling towards him and bashes him in the head. Yes. Do All right. 
All right, it hits for Super one. Super successful. End of copycat's turn. Also, into the round, Grandmaster. D20, please. I will, and it's going to be good, I promise you, as I roll a six. Let me try it again. I need some time to warm up. Everybody has also had time to pl yeah. roll plenty of dice. I will roll a 16. See, that's by far more respectable. See, I just needed a little bit of warm up. You can't go into a fight cold. Same with rolling dice. You know, okay. just give me a breather. With a 16, yes. it's enough. You have triggered a chaotic event. <gasps> chaos! chaos! Uh, Atlas, roll me a flat d20. <gasps> what chaos will he summon? A 17. All right. A 17. Perfect. Because you all have thrown plenty of things from the to the audience. At this point, our acolytes respond whizzing from the crowds of acolytes. Small projectiles hurl towards you, screeching like a bat swallowed a whistle. It gives you fair warning as a swarm of many different objects are hurled in your direction. Roll to find cover. And for our acolytes, please tell me, what is it that you begin to throw at our champions? It is your turn to deal some damage their way eat anything that you like and try to hit them with your best shot as Rikon throws magnets magnets into the arena your straw and empty nacho plate is the perfect time to toss your trash even mang cola we love it we love some mang throw it in here some crossover plizzies make their way in those dogs and pizzas falling apart as they no longer become the same thing ethernet cable lasso loses its way over in there also finding purchase and even car keys for an old car that you no longer have in an 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 anvil an anvil <laughs> an all right an pull ass anvils with crickets with a 10 you will <laughs> fail uh robbie clark you're gonna take two points against your fighting spirit for the second Ooh. chaotic event atlas you also will take two points of damage uh copycat you will take no damage because holding that shield you have a 15 so you are uh, you are safe from this second chaotic event, but who knows? It might not be the last one. So you all should hurry up and kill each other. You still have some of you still have power ups. You all have heroic surges. You have <gasps> some status effects. Swing for the fences because I think the grandmaster is getting bored and wants to see some. Yes. Blood. Heroic, remember, does five times the damage. So we want you to dream big and quit holding back and crush them if you want to lead this team. Show them that you are the rightful leader. Speaking of, here comes round number five. Oh, Atlas. Number five. All right. Um, could I potentially consume one of my power-ups to uh, attempt to hit both of... Uh, 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 both Copycat and Robbie. I'm gonna say yes. I like it. Sure. Do it. Cool. As um, as Copycat slams the uh, the shield into Atlas, Atlas reaches forward and grabs onto the shield. From down in the auditorium, um, Robbie is sort of seated, like kind of looking up to where they both his enemies have gone, and you hear this sound like things being pulled, magnetically pulled from the magnets that were thrown by the audience as they slam together. And off in the distance, you hear almost like a megaphone. Atlas knows that Robbie has spoken many times of friendship. <laughs> and many times, the power of friendship has prevailed. <laughs> but allow Atlas to introduce you to what he learnt on planet Australia. <laughs> the one thing greater than friendship. And you watch as this giant boat, which has copycat kind of built in, or the shield and the arm built in as the figurehead, is a massive ship, and it is called Mateship. <laughs> and I'm gonna burn my, uh, my heroic surge and my status effect and the power up to hit both of them as oh. Atlas with one floating, like kind of again, like that, that magnet floating energy that he has in Thea's hand yeah. throws this like tanker um, ship down towards Cinderblock, uh, sorry, um, to Robbie. And in addition, 
I am going to also use the Im uh, immovable force and sacrifice. Um, I'm going to go with six, six fighting spirit for this attack. Oh my okay. gosh. He's going all out on this moment. It is big. Toss those chips into the middle. If you weren't cheering for Atlas now, this is your moment. Go all, right. all in. Plus six to hit on top of what you already have. It's going to hit for six if it's successful. Uh, so that is a 17 in total. 17 to hit. Oh. Both of you need to roll a defense save. <gasps> failure for Robbie Clark. <gasps> Even with another plus one from the shield, failure for copycat. Oh! How many points of damage is that total? Six. Six! Please, oh, Atlas, describe this move in great detail. So as the ship comes uh, streaming down, the first thing that uh, that hits Robbie is the shield at the figurehead. But as it does so, the crumple zone of the ship starts to bend and buckle. <coughs> and it basically becomes almost like a vertical uh, pylon uh, embedded into the ground. It comes in at a 45 degree angle, but the force skids it, dragging a trench behind it as it then goes upright. But that was my first action. And uh, both <laughs> of you now also have status effects on you as a, as a result of that attack as well. So as a, mm -hmm. as a note. Mm -hmm. Atlas then jumps uh, from the stand onto the uh, aft of the, sh uh, uh, on the, uh, uh, no, sorry, on the, yeah, uh, aft of the ship, which is now up in the air. And as he does so, Atlas um, basically uh, asks Thea for her help. Even though uh, we can't fly with your wing power, Atlas funnels as much energy into Thea's wings as he possibly can. They transform into these giant electric fairy wings as he grabs onto the aft of the ship and tries to just fly straight down, causing that crumple zone to just crush downward. Do it. Uh, and I'm going to use both of my remaining attacks to make one attack on each of them, okay. but Ooh. theme it as the one attack. Yeah, trying to crush him. Let's go. Do it. First one to... I... Uh, uh, first, one, first, first one I'm going to go to uh, Robbie, because Robbie's down the bottom. Okay. 14 to hit on Robbie. It's going to hit. All right. And then Copycat. Ooh, that's not great. Seven to hit. Dirty 20 to defend. She's going to defend. All right. And the whole ship basically just turns to rubble as the whole structure collapses into big piles, um, burying the, that area of the arena in just scrap metal and bits and pieces that have been salvaged from the arena floor. Uh, from Sorry, from the audience stands. That is a hell of a turn as everyone is clearly now in a bloodied state. We have pushed everyone to their limit. I want you to keep going. Thank you for raising the bar, Atlas. That's what I'm talking about. As she looks over at Robbie Clark, tell me, how do you respond? You see, how many? Also, I have no idea how many fighting spirit I have. You have two. Okay, cool. Then I, I had a correct idea of how many I had left. <laughs> See the limp and broken body of a young child under mountains of wrought, twisted iron and bits of boat. As the hunger sort of slowly peels out of the backpack and creates like an exoskeleton to lift Robbie's broken body up. <sighs> you, you talk about knowing what things feel like and you don't know the power of friendship because you've never felt anything Atlas but I'm going to change that you're going to feel this and then the hunger sort of piloting Robbie is going to skitter forward like a like a spider but on a video reel where there's like every third frame is missing like he's sort of like blipping in and out of reality mm. as he like just skitters towards atlas um and i am going to make um my first attack against atlas um and i am going to use a status effect as the hunger does not strike atlas but releases 
a very small, thin layer of itself, like spores, to cascade over Atlas's frame <gasps> to see if they can make contact with his cold steel chassis. And okay. I'll tell you what happens if they hit. Roll the hit. <laughs> the mystery continues. It is a 16 hit. to hit and a 10 to defend. It's going to hit for two. As uh, the little bits settle, like you're, you're first. Good, sir. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, I, I believe, Arbiter, correct me if I'm wrong, that is right. the remainder of a Atlas. Um, but I, I will allow, uh, you know, obviously a lot because it's freaking happening. Uh, but <laughs> but before um, before this hit, seeing that this, this attack is coming dead on can i eject thea out the back like kind of like a yeah like a little escape pod cool. absolutely i will do that as the spores settled on your chassis for the first time in your life atlas you feel the cold air on you you feel the crinkle in your fingers as you are given feeling as a neural network is built across you so that you may feel this. And as a last and final moment across the front of your faceplate, you feel a crack and a split and a strange yearning as you find yourself growing a mouth. And yes, that does imply growing also an exit port of sorts. <laughs> I love this. Um, do you mind if I take a little liberty with this something here? The liberty is yours to take. Thank you, good sir. As the neural network uh, interacts with Atlas, his systems go red, and there's just all these codes he doesn't recognize. Uh, out from the crack, these neural network uh, fibers made of the same stuff that the hunger is transforms and creates a bioorganic mouth. As he stops for a moment, standing right beside the hunger and... Uh, Robbie, he takes a look, uh, turning his gaze towards uh, Copycat, and all you hear... I hunger. <laughs> and I, uh, and as per the thing, I am now allied with, uh, with Robbie and the hunger. In those moments, you are combined. You feel the energy as your body relaxes and takes into this transformation. The goblins now help support you. You are out of this match officially and your own agency. But should we get back to your turn, you will have one action to act on behalf of the player. Perhaps it seems clear that it would be the hunger that you will support on their legacy. But for now, the hunger still has three actions here in round number five. Yes, that is true. I shall look to uh, Atlas and I shall say that voice thing you'll get you'll you'll get that you get over that after a couple days when you've sort of recenter as a part of the unified whole. So don't worry, you'll still sound like you'll get over it. It's like the training wheels. But to you, copycat, <sighs> I must confess to you. That over these past times that we have battled, I have considered us to become friends. And even in you doing mean things and making fun of the hunger's mom, I still think we are probably are friends. And if I win this and kill you, I will probably recycle your biomass so that you can live again. And we can probably try killing these guys at some point that are making all these people go into this arena. And he's going to sort of point back at... Uh, the Arbiter and the Grandmaster. It's like, they seem like they're the real bad guys. But in the time being, I have no power here other than their rules. So I must consume you, but we are friends. You see you see the, you see the arm kind of like, instead of the shield facing you, it kind of turns to the side so you can see like the actual hand. Mm -hmm. And you just see the hand go. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Dang. And then it just does this. It's just like, <laughs> oh man, I don't. I know. I'm sorry. I don't want to do this. I'm closing my eyes, and then I'm gonna do my heroic surge and just try to take her out in one go. All right, let's go. Roll the hit. Oh, that oh, was almost God. A 20. That was a four. Oh, 
with an 11 to defend or 12 technically with the shield it is going to miss okay two more attacks status effect ah uh, big tentacle but you 12 to hit 13 to defend with the shield it's gonna miss okay last one you gotta go for it uh, i assume oh, you're not daughter. relieving yourself from the other status effect are you no he's what? not you have a status effect on your body. Oh no, I forgot about that. I'm too serious about trying to win this. I'm a little kid, I'm not paying attention, I'm not strategic. And right. Arbiter and Grandmaster, you guys are the real meanies. And then I'm going to attack uh, one last time. Oh, it's at the end of two again. <laughs> Four to hit, 11 to defend. It's good. Why does he keep talking about it? Like, what have we done to him? Well, we did put him in a ma death match, but it's okay. He'll understand once he's gone through the whole thing. Let him go through the journey. Let him experience all of his emotions. It's fine. Okay, that's fine. It's not, not our fault we're making him fight to the death. He'll get there. He'll get there. Let him have his moment. All right. Especially because he's definitely not having one right now with all these misses. No, he really kind of <laughs> sucks. Uh, <laughs> Robbie Clark, that is the uh, that's the end of your turn here. Copycat. Uh, you're going to take one point of damage for the status effect, Robbie, leaving you with one. Copycat, you're up. All right. So, Copycat will uh, start just sign language, just like, <laughs> but it's not real, like, sign language. She's just like. <laughs> I like to speak to the hand. Flipping approach. Robbie off and like flipping the arbiter off and and flipping the grandmaster off and it's just like da -da 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 -da. and so then takes the shield takes the shield off and throws it on the ground like it's throwing a mic and <laughs> uh getting rid of the shield okay got it yep she's going to uh transform one final time into a black hole <gasps> oh. and i would like to use if it's possible, if you allow it, I would like to use uh, my heroic surge, power ups, the rest of my life points, uh, and actions into one final grand attack. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can use. You want to use your own life? Yeah. Okay, this will be a. Uh, this will hit for. Um... Hold on. Uh, He's adding. It takes him a second. That's Math gonna, is that's hard. It's gonna be eleven points to hit. Uh, do you want the your life to go towards the damage or towards the uh, to hit? I'm gonna say towards towards the damage. All right. So he only has one left. Fourteen if you hit. <laughs> but with the since I'm a black it's, hole, it's I the don't... point of the matter. Yeah. You know. <laughs> no, no, no. So I'm not just targeting. Robbie, the black hole's gonna target the entirety of the arena and everyone in it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. You go for that. Yes. Okay. Let's see whatever else and whoever else in this arena that you can pull in. Roll the hit. Including the including the audience. Oh yeah. Oh absolutely. Yeah. yeah, they're definitely within range. Coming for you. Or yeah. attempting to. All right. Yes. <laughs> With a four Ooh. to hit. And a seven ah! for defense. Robbie with the nine with his modifier. Um, I, I I would like to maybe approach the bench. Sure. Um, I even though I, I am control like I got the neural network of uh of the hunger. I would like to have a moment where Atlas will maybe try to grab on to the hunger and to uh, Robbie in an, in an inopportune moment, in a show of friendship, you know, to try and hug, hug it out with my friend, you know? Absolutely. I think as long as Robbie Clark and the hunger are open to this embrace, you can absolutely- Oh no, this, do is, it this, this is, this is Atlas's attempt to try and drag him into the black hole. Uh, oof. I mean, I picked up on that. Did nobody else pick up on I that? Didn't pick I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think you have the agency to act other. against him. I mean, uh, not, uh, well, that's why, that's why, turn. that's why it, it's yes. not acting yeah. against him, but at the same time, it's not helpful. 
Hmm. Just because you had already used your turns this round, I'm gonna say no. Okay. I apologize. I tried, I tried Kat. It is a cool Oh, no, it's okay. She, the thing is, Copycat is fully aware of what she's done, and she's prepared to uh, collapse into herself. And you do in that, as you would put all of your fighting spirit into the last of your move, willing to go all in. In fact, as you begin to implode upon yourself, getting larger and larger, while Robbie Clark and the Hunger have seen the void before and are unmoved in this bare witness, as you begin to pull in all around you, all of our little goblins and chinchillas become consumed within you, even our Me. acolytes, the ashes of them get pulled in, and even whole bodies, Scrib, Gator, Rykon, Kristen, IT dude, all across the board, Christina, even as we continue to scroll further up in chat, they are pulled within you as you take them in and swirl. And what happens in those final moments? What goes through Copycat as she begins to go through this cycle? What does she think? What does she do in these final moments? I will remain no one, but everyone on my own terms. And that's it. And you fade into stardust as you evaporate into the arena. The Grandmaster softly lands on the arena floor. Well done, Robbie Clark and the Hunger. We've certainly put you through the ringer, but I think you are deserving of plenty more as she claps her hands and you see beside you both of your teammates suddenly reborn copycat all and nothing at the same time that of glittery stardust her skin shining underneath that paper bag that we cannot see and of course to your other side atlas in his original form no longer theized as she's been popped out in a safety net moment robbie clark i grant you the status of leader that you may under our command, extend this power of friendship. You may name your team whatever you'd like. And what would you like? I look to Atlas. I look to Copycat. And then with a dark, distant gaze, I look to the Grandmaster and the Arbiter. We shall be the unbreakable redacted friends. And so it shall be known. We will have it written on the stone itself and you will be an official commission team of the D20 Deathmatch Arena. You have power, you have abilities to do as you please and occasionally we'll send you on missions. It is your responsibility, though, young child, as she rests her hand on your shoulder, to lead your team to glory. Can you do that? Robbie's going to look up to uh, the Grandmaster, and as he does, two tendrils of the hunger are going to sleek down and go up to Copycat's shoulder and to Atlas's shoulder. To the Grandmaster, he says, Oh yes, we can do that. And then to Atlas and to Cat uh, to Copycat, he's going to whisper, "We're gonna take these motherfuckers down." <laughs> Copycat just kind of sighs and goes, ah, "You know, being ripped apart piece by piece and molecule and status and everything like that, and then forcibly being put back together is." <sighs> I have every right. To do it again. <laughs> but I will. Atlas, um, Atlas, as you, as he's leaned in, you know, is like sort of pulled down so that he's kind of closer to your level as you've got your arms around him, and you, uh, you hear him uh, basically just start swirling and, and whizzing, and on that same display screen over his eyes, new directive: take these motherfuckers down. <laughs> 
Well, I do appreciate the spirit nonetheless, and I respect the drive to continue to push for power. After all, that's what the arena is always for. If we do not strive to make ourselves stronger, we cannot strive to make ourselves better and as whole. So I encourage you, Robbie Clark and team, to push yourselves, to challenge yourselves, as that is what we do here. If you choose to be weak, if you choose to back down, then you are not meant to be here. It is under this arena through blood, through sweat, through metal of all sorts, you are meant to become all that you can. And it is through that that you will discover who you are and who your friends really are. Thank you. And welcome and good night to D20 Deathmatch! Deathmatch!